Hello and welcome back to the channel. I am your host and band leader of the Bravo Charlie, Ken Levine. I'm a classical singer and vocal coach here on YouTube. And today we are looking at One by Metallica. This is a blast from the past. Um, I like to do that on Fridays. That's what today is. Today's a Friday and we're going to going to do a bit of a flashback Friday today and this is a song that I first heard back in 1989 so we are opening up the time capsule I haven't heard it since then so really um, it's kind of lost in a distant memory for me and I thought this would be a good time to take a look at it from the lens of a vocal coach. So before we do that, I'd just like to remind you all to please remember to hit that subscribe button and the notification bell so you don't miss out on any of the great content that we produce here every week on the channel. So now, without further ado, let us have a listen to One by Metallica. Let's see if I can turn this up here. I'm getting chills already. I need more. What is democracy? What is democracy? Got something to do with young men killing each other. When it comes to my turn, will you want me to go? For democracy. Any man would give his own. So clean. Base hasn't even entered yet. It is impossible for a decelerated individual to experience pain, pleasure, memory, dreams, or thought of any kind. This young man will be as unfeeling, as unthinking as the dead until the day he joins me. I don't know whether I'm alive and dreaming or dead and remembering. Okay, I just want to stop it right there and just say I am so fascinated by Hetfield's vocals. They are so clean and uh, obviously he's got some vocal doubling going on or maybe they uh, did some layering with uh, double tracks. It is so, so pristine and precise. This is like the days before autotune existed and uh, I got chills, okay? Um, nostalgia chills, I guess, uh, watching those opening clips from the, from the movie. So I'll shut up now. This I wish for dear Oh please God wake me I just went ahead and chopped up everything Oh God Please make them hear me They won't listen They won't hear me Please don't wake me up I'll be like this for you Cut this life off from me. Hold my breath, 
So when it moves into those distortion moments with the guitar, the transition, it really is jarring. It's it's not meant to be clean, I guess, uh, but the, the, the rest of the playing is so immaculate by the whole band. Inter um, mingling of the uh, this film footage um, from uh, it looks like a couple of different movies. There's some black and white, and there's some color film footage. is absolutely brilliant. And I I was watching this, and I was just thinking, man, I remember this having um, It's a really powerful piece of um, storytelling. Oh, God. Uh. I remember thinking that could be me uh, or some of my friends. And uh, I think that's your first encounter with... Uh, the darkness of, um, well, it was with me anyway. First encounter with, <clears throat> and truly having to uh, face some of the darker themes in, and uh, notions that uh, mortality is, can throw at you. And, um, and there are potentially fates worse than death. And uh, this is one of those incredibly powerful pieces that <sighs> I just uh, had to take a moment a long moment I don't know how much of this footage I'm actually going to uh, include in this video or if if I'm going to release this video at all I think the, the longer you live the more uh, uh, reality you um, encounter and you obviously <clears throat> <clears throat> mm. 
I just uh, I just think of all the the young fellows who had to face this and uh <clears throat> How many men, I think one of the most powerful things that this uh, is bringing back to me is uh, the notion, I think, when I first had to encounter not only, you know, my own mortality, because I, I started looking at this from the aspect of, well, you know, this this could be me or my friends, <clears throat> but um, the insanity of... the utter disposability of, of men. And um, sacrifice. Heroic sacrifice. And this is the flip side of it. This is held in that hellish state where you're not really alive and you're not, and you feel like maybe <clears throat> the alternative to life is, is preferable. I think that's what gripped me. I don't know. Who knows? Stephen King's Cornhole, that is one dark place. As the song really starts to pick up steam, <clears throat> uh, you, you really start to get those visions of what a hellish nightmare, that in-between state would be, that purgatory state of not really being alive, but not being allowed to die. Um, yeah, that is, that is a really powerful masterpiece uh, from the whole... From the beginning, from the beginning, it's been a long time since I've I've heard that song, like 30 years. I was thinking of a couple of things. One is the nature of creativity in that I, I wonder where this song comes from. Now, I, I like to look at, well, I don't really know, but some of the things that I think about when I think about being creative or as a creative songwriter is, you know, from whence the creative impulse comes. You know, there's like three levels or or three modes, and one is where you're being creative within a deadline or within constraints. It's just like, hey, wouldn't this be a good idea if we wrote a song about this? And then you go ahead and you write the song, or you write the article or whatever. You know, these are the themes that we're going to look at and go. 
And then <clears throat> like the second mode of creativity is like you go out and you encounter the world and you see something like a dramatic piece of art or, um, you know, I don't know, a bird flying or a rainbow or whatever. And you say, oh, man, that inspires me to write a song. And you, so you write a song about that encounter with the world. And then there's that third state of creativity, which is fascinating to me. And, and I haven't found an explanation for why this works, but apropos of nothing, you're not encountering anything, you're not thinking about anything. All of a sudden, this idea for a song or a lyric or something lands in your head and you have to grab a piece of paper right then and there and you got to write it out because you're just afraid you're going to lose it. And you don't know where it came from, you know, like this, I don't know, pearl from heaven, I guess. And I wonder it, how this song manifested itself for this band at this time because I think um, it's an absolute masterpiece. And the video is so incredibly moving and and um, amazing. Um, Hetfield's vocals on this are stunning at the beginning and um, the the jarring nature of how the orchestration, you know, develops um, between those two worlds of the sort of melodic pastoral musicality of the guitars playing uh, off the top. And then you get this inc incredible heavy distortion and then it switches back and you get that back and forth and it's very jarring. And then all of a sudden you're into it and you're into that hellish nightmare um, scenario and it's just guitars, distortion, and it's amazing, amazing. Um, well, that's all I have for today. I, uh, I hope if you've made it to the end of this video, thank you for very much for watching. Uh, please remember to subscribe um, if, if you like. Um, and uh, yeah, uh, we will see you next time.